In this video, I'll show you how to use Bluestacks. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end so you know the full steps to downloading Bluestacks, installing it, and also going and setting it up so you can go and use it. Let's go and get into this. The first thing you want to do is go and open up a search browser and make sure you've got an internet connection. Let's go and open up this. So personally, I use Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you would like and then I'm going to come to Google but you can use any search engine and all you want to do is simply go and search a Bluestacks and I'll show you the official website to go and download it from so here we go just search a Bluestacks all one word and you want to make sure you come to bluestacks.com then click here and we've got a few different options here so you want to make sure you click on download Bluestacks so click download and then it's going to go and drop the download down here as you can see it did download quite quickly this was because the main download is going to happen once we go and start the install. This is simply a launcher. So simply go and click on this in the bottom left. Uh, you may get a Windows Cootie pop-up. Uh, my screen recorder won't record it, but it's now done it. And we've got this pop-up here saying install now. And you can go and close off your search engine as well. So I'm going to go and click install now. And then as you can see, it's starting to download, which is 400 megabytes. So just remember this, um, if you're downloading it, the download speed is going to depend on your internet. But I'll catch up with you once this download is finished. And it may start a few other downloads after the first one finishes, but you simply got to wait and it will continue to do its own thing and, and update you once the next step happens. Then it's gonna disappear and it's gonna go and start checking the system requirements. So this will take a few minutes just as it goes and checks your computer. And then it's gonna start extracting the files which you just downloaded. So once again, simply wait for this. It's gonna go and extract them and then start the install process. And it's now installing the engine. And now it's just disappeared, so you've got to continue to wait. And it's probably going to go and launch itself again in a minute. As you can see, it's now starting Bluestacks. The install has finished, but this first start may take a bit of time um, because it's the first time starting. But it shouldn't take too long, and as you can see, it's loading quickly. And then once it loads, it's going to look something like this. So the first thing you want to do is go and click on the Play Store. Now when you first go and Bluestacks, you actually need to go into the Play Store to go and download some apps you would like, and you also need to go and sign in with a Google account. So if you haven't already got a Google account, you'll need to create one. As you can see, it says sign in to find the latest Android apps, games, movies, music, and more. So go and click sign in like so, and it'll take you to the sign in, and then you can go and click sign in, and it's now checking the info. If you ever need to go back to the home page of Bluestacks, all you need to do is come to the bottom right where you've got this home button, and you can click there, and it's gonna take you back to your selection of apps. And above the settings, you've also got a ton of options down here as well. For example, full screen, you can also change the volume, and there's a ton of other awesome tools you can go and test out along here as well. But full screen, volume, and settings are the key ones. Then after around a minute, you're gonna get the option to be able to go and sign in. So I'm gonna go and enter my email. So you use this just like you would a normal computer, you use your keyboard. So I'm gonna enter my email and then go and enter my password. And then you have to go and agree to the Google Terms of Service as well. So I'm gonna go and agree to them, I've already read them. And now it's getting the account info and we're gonna be able to go and sign in. And you're also gonna have this option for Google services. I personally turn that off, but you can do whatever you'd like with that. But here we are in the Play Store, so now we can go and download any app we'd like. And this is the complete normal Google Play Store. So if you've got an Android device, this is exactly the same. So you can download games, you can download softwares, and literally anything you can go and do. So you can go and choose an app. So you'd go and click on it, say if I want to download, download Roblox. I'd click here and then I could go and click install. And then it's gonna go and start the download just like a normal app would on your phone or even on your computer. And it's gonna go and tell you the percentage it has downloaded. But for now, I'm gonna come back to my home screen. So I'm just gonna go and click on the home icon down here. And then we're back here and we can go and check out the other apps we have. And once your app goes and finishes downloading, it's gonna go and appear here with the rest of your apps. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. Leave a like for more. I look forward to catch you in the next video. Peace.